Hello, welcome back for a new video. Uh, it's been a while. I've been having this car now for about six months. So I gathered uh, quite some experience. And today I will speak about one very annoying thing that actually makes me think of selling the car. And that is the seat comfort at the M Sport seats. So join me in this video and I will explain more about this. So, as I see, uh, I have several problems with the seat comfort. First of all, the seat area is very narrow. Uh, I am not a very big guy. I am 178 centimeters long and the uh, weight of 85 kilo. But when I sit in a normal driving position with the footrest and my foot on the accelerator, I end up sitting on these side supports rather than between them. So if I drive for a longer journey, they constantly squeeze on my ties, which is not nice at all and uh, makes the ride really uncomfortable after a while. The next thing is that you have very limited uh, adjustments. You can't adjust the width of the seat area you can't adjust the width of the backrest. The backrest is fine in the lower part. But then you have these side supports on the upper part. And I don't see the purpose really. They look nice. It looks sporty. But when you sit here you can't fit between them. So you end up with your shoulders on the top of them. And that is also not very comfortable. Also, I had constantly problem with the lumbar support. I have the active seats with massage and um, whenever I take the car, uh, it inflates it's more than the position I left the car with. So every time I start the car, I have to deflate them a little bit to adjust them. And it's been on the workshop several times for this, but with no real solution. So my solution for this is that I have to store the position in the seat memory, but I have to store a position which is less than I want to have. And then every time I get into the car, I have to set recall the memory. Uh, I don't know why, I don't know if it's only the active seats that have this problem, but still I have it. But my main concern are the headrests. The only way you can adjust them is up and down, and they are fixed in this position. And that could be fine. I mean, I am used to a lot of cars with sport seats. I even had a Porsche 78 Spider with bucket seats, which had even much more side support and uh, even less possibilities to adjust the seat. There the comfort was far more better than in this car. And the problem is that the angle here between the backrest and the headrest. I don't know what they have been thinking about. It's uh, like they had the hunchback of Notre Dame as a model or something. Because if you look here, here is where you should rest your the top of your back. Then you have this very steep angle of the headrests. And this means that if I should use all support for my back, my head ends up like this and the only way is that all the time while I'm driving I have to lean my the top of my shoulder and the top of my back a little bit forward all the time which means that it's a lot of stress on your neck I don't have no support on the upper part and there's no possibility to adjust either the angle or the depth of the headrest. 
So this means that all the time when I'm driving, I have to sit like this and lean forward for the back, the upper part of my back and my neck. And this also means that I end up even worse on these shoulders. Then I really sit on top of them and without any support here. And this means the comfort is really bad. This week I have been driving two days in a row with about four to five hours driving each day. Uh, and after that, the next morning I have a real bad pain in both my shoulder, my neck and the upper part of my back. And uh, also this means that you don't have that much support because this is more or less useless. And the side support here, this could have been even a little bit more, but it isn't. So for me, it's, um, it's a real big comfort problem. So uh, my advice is if you're thinking of buying an iX1 or an X1 with sport seats, make sure you try them out before and not only a short drive around the neighborhood, take them for a longer drive, half an hour or something. Because the first time I get into the car, I thought, okay, this is nice, not a big problem. But you realize when you drive for some time that it's not a very well designed seats. Actually, it's the worst seats I've had in any car. So unfortunately, uh, as I spend quite a lot of time in my car, uh, I can't live with these seats. I have constantly problems with my back, my neck and my shoulder after longer driving. And the obvious problem is that if you want the M Sport version with the M Sport exterior, then you have no options at all. You have to go for this seat. Uh, you can choose leather, different fabric, but you can't choose a more comfort-oriented seat, which is really sad, I think. So, I think this is uh, both disappointing and uh, a bit sad, because I've had a lot of other BMWs. I also own a 440i. And in all my other BMWs, the seats have been excellent with really good both support and comfort. But uh, this means that uh, this car with these seats, it's not just for me. Uh, maybe they will fit your need better, but make sure you try them out. Good luck and I wish you all a safe driving.